Oh ho! Seven times the charm. You've been dancing like this for hours. hours. My, good thing you made a long loop, huh? My quads are killing me. Yeah, I was Welcome going, back! I was for this. Music! Pathiri! Philosophy! If you host me! Christine! Pete! Christine! Oh! Me, man. We have to build in our own. Actually, I think I can pull. hear it. You. <sighs> Dude, thanks for being on the show. You know, my mom told me I was going to make it, and I knew. You knew it. I knew, no matter what people told me, I was going to do it. You were going to do it. And I'm here, guys. And you made it. This yeah. is the, this is yeah. the, this is when you make it. This is like, there's like, this is there's the, like a line. Is this is like, there's, there's a spot, there's a ceiling, and you just got to break. You got to break. <laughs> <laughs> that right ceiling. That ceiling. And that's music theory philosophy. If you, uh, right there. That's the, yeah, yeah. You know, you just gotta get on. Well, you've heard Danny Grifuco, right? His career no. is shut. Oh, well, he was on yeah. the show. Oh. He. That sorry. Was, his yeah. career is going saying. crazy. His career is going crazy. <laughs> I'm not that local. I'm not that. You know? da- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a local guy, but he's I'm a not local. That like a local. Mom. I'm like the local guy who like doesn't let to like to tell people he's local. Yeah, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're from here, but you're not. Yeah. From. Well, that's honestly though. I'm not from here. We're know? like the mom and pop shop of uh, of Instagram Live here. Yeah. You come in, yeah. and you pay way too much, but you feel kind of good inside afterwards. Yeah. No, it's like I was on a waiting list to get. In. <laughs> And the bouncer looked at me at the door, and he's like, I'm not sure you really belong here, son. But, Kevin's kind of a butt you know, He sucks. probably shouldn't come. Should it's not worth the time. That's what he said, yeah. It, uh, I think he was just trying to get me to leave, I think man. it was Lance actually yeah. just saying that. Yeah. We've been paying him for years. You've and been paying me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, check well, that account. Just like compliments here It's compliments. Oh, yeah, God, just, you <laughs> Actually, this one you can already tell when Lance is in town because the quality because is the, about. It's like you go from looking like you're like filming out of like a we closet, to like looking like you're like at a professional studio. I have to just dub over yeah. everything that the guest says the entire time. Honestly, I've always, always wanted. My favorite customer. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Pete, We're thanks here. for being on. Yeah, Kirsting. I like that Kirsting, last name. Kirsting. Yeah. Kirsting. Yeah. Kirsting. Yeah. Kirsting. Onomana, like onomatopoeia. An onomatopoeia. You know, That's like Kerplow, Kerplop, Pow, um, Schnibble. I've never heard that one. You know, like, like anything you could write out in a comic book. That would be. That would be an onomatopoeia. onomatopoeia. That would not be my last name, though. But you're rela- like kind of related. I'm kind of, yeah. Like it's like, like a distant you, cousin. I'm basically related to Stanley. But, oh, where's that royalty Justin check Pace. coming in? No, um, the that was actually it. That right was it right there. there. Yeah, man, it's not much, <laughs> dude. You have one of the watch me segue into this. Yeah. One of the coolest jobs of all time. I think your job's cool. No, man, my yeah. job of interviewing people yeah, well, is pretty is pretty cool. But your job is even more cool. You narrate audio books. Yeah, well, that's it. It is cool. Yes. I enjoy doing it. Um, and I don't know, man, there's, there's more I want to do than audiobooks, but the mm-hmm. voice acting in general, I think, is, it's been like, I feel like a clarifying moment for me as okay. far as figuring out what I want to do. Nice. Yeah, so it's been cool. You spent, uh, we're about the same age. We spent a lot of time, or do you feel like you spent a lot of time? Oh, kind of Tony doing says hi. Hi, Tony. Tony. That's my fiance. Fancy. That's a fancy fiance. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I tell her that all the time. <laughs> she yeah. is. She is. She's lovely. You know, there's a there's a sign downtown right next to the culinary dropout. There's okay. a wall that says yep. some 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 t- blah, blah, blah. tiny dancer. Yes, yes. I was yes. going to like crap out that one part and just put Tony dancer. Tony that's what I always dancer. Call it, like Tony dancer. Yeah. She is. She's. I bet she's. She good. is. She no. She actually was like a ballet in no stuff, way. And then she, she did. Uh, she in high school she did like uh, to dance dance routines and stuff. I had no idea. I've been trying to get her to teach me like choreography. Some, you some know? moves. Just like one minute, two minute. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah. So I love it. She yeah, also does uh, yeah, yeah. photography, right? 
Dude, she's an amazing photographer. You just Next time you some... need someone to like take a picture of you with a musical instrument in front of you, yes, um, she could do that. She can do that. Yeah, she can That's do incredible. that really well. And in she... fact, if you need a photographer in Chandler, she's like your girl. I love sure. it. I love it. Yeah. Let's put it. I'm gonna put. Yeah, sorry, Instagram like Live. Captions. It's gonna be right underneath on this uh, yeah. on the YouTube version. Let's do that. Yeah, so that'd be great. Hit her up. Yeah, but the the voice acting has been. Thanks for bringing it back. I forgot. I forgot what I I love it. No, it's great stuff. I mean, the thing is, there's so much that goes into it that I had no freaking clue before I started getting into it. Okay, what are some of those things? Um, For one, like the acting part of it, like, I I mean, I I knew, like, obviously you're trying to read in a way that you're making the characters come alive and stuff, but there's so many, like, nuanced aspects of acting only for sound that are like you wouldn't know unless okay. you started learning from somebody who knows what they're doing yeah yeah for example there's something called pre-life which is like right before you say something mm-hmm. you need to be thinking about what was your character doing right before that like so if i'm running and I'm supposed to be delivering a line while also running. Okay. It makes sense for me not to be like, hey guys, how's it going? Yeah. Like, like, like I haven't been running you around. Been running. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, I got to be like, hey guys, how's it going? Yeah. You know, like, a little so just like little things that like add I mean, to yeah. like the believability. Cause I mean, I think the sound, like, there's a challenge there, but there's also something like really cool about. You literally have to see everything yourself. The image is, uh, like, it's not there. You just uh-huh. have to, like, imagine it. You know what I mean? So I have to do a good job so that you go, like, oh, yeah, he's running. He's I running. can tell because he's breathing hard. He's breathing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It immerses you more into that story. Or yeah, there's, like, a million things I could talk about, but yeah, that's, yeah. like, one of them. That's, yeah. yeah. That's a good example. Yeah. Right there. No. Awesome. What, was, what, what got you into that? Was there just, like, a, I wouldn't even think <sighs> about yeah getting into that that's such a cool thing to do be the long version the short version how about something in between yeah the medium version okay so um let's see how where do i start from this is always Hmm. one of those things you're like who are you all right well i was born i was born in a hospital yeah because i wanted to be close to my mother there's a lot of extraneous information that (laughs) go into this example but all right let's think about this so uh i guess it started with um in college, I had done theater in high school. Okay. Um, and in college, I went to Northern Arizona University. Oh, no And way. I had a friend, Eric Lynch, who um, is doing some pretty awesome um, documentary style work right now. He's, uh, but he was in the film program. I was in the journalism program. Okay. And one day over bottomless mimosas and brunch in the Indian place. Nice. He's like... Yo, dude, uh, you're one of the older students here. And I'm like, thanks for reminding yeah, me, bro. What's that yeah, about? Yeah. And he's like, well, do you want to play a character in a movie? He's a father. And I was like, yeah, I'll audition for the role. Yeah, yeah. And so I was in this film. And it was a really fun experience for me. And it was the first time in a very long time that I did anything theatrical. Mm-hmm. And it was also the first time I had done something related to film. Mm-hmm. And as is the case with almost everything that's been worthwhile in my life. I didn't really think about it. Yeah. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because you know, overthink things is just, too, for me anyway, it's just like too much. You okay. know, as anxiety yeah, yeah. sets and everything else. Uh, but it was fun. I was, gonna do it. I was fun. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to try to do the best job I can. And yeah. it, was, it was a super rewarding experience. Okay. And, you know, so that kind of got me thinking about the idea of acting. And, you know, I'd already been doing a lot of stuff in front of the camera and behind the camera uh, for journalism. Mm -hmm. But then I started getting into podcasting. Okay. And so I kind of just started gently getting more into the area of sound. You know what I mean? Just closer to that. I think audiobook narration specifically comes out of the fact that my dad always read to me as a kid. So, like, I was used to him reading like the Lord of the Rings or Harry oh, Potter or like Chronicles of Narnia, so whatever, good. like to us as a kid. So 
I have been an avid reader my whole life because of the fact that my dad basically read audiobooks to me before there were audiobooks. You, you know what I mean? The OG. It's not like other people's dads who read to them, but like to me, that was like what started my interest okay. in reading. And so when I was thinking like acting to voice acting, the first natural step to me was I love reading books. Yeah, yeah. I like to act. I'm digging the sound stuff, so. Put these two things together. No! Oh! Yeah, exactly. So, yeah! I mean, that's a start, but. Um, Dude, that's so cool. So it just was always percolating in the back. Maybe you saw, you start to see it coming up. And that's, it's so interesting to me how many things there are involved in sound and creating different things. Everybody wants to be Keith Richards or. That's an old reference, but Dude, somebody. I but mean, it's like he's still alive. He's though, still how know? how? <laughs> it's like honestly, this, he's this been dead what, how for is a he long s- time, but he's still kicking. You know, Paul died and yeah. he's back alive. You know who else that's like dead but like not dead? It's Bob Dylan. Every time I like talk about Bob dead? Dylan, I'm like, I love you, Bob. But like every time I mention him to somebody, they're like, Oh yeah, he died, right? Dude, I was like, No, wait a second. No, he didn't. He's alive. But he's got to be like 95. He does, and then yeah. I'm like. Wait a second, let me Google this real quick. He's 80 years old. He's I looked it 80? up very recently. He's no only 80 way. years old. And See, when you said I'm 95, I was like, like oh, that seems young. And I told that to my dad the other day, you know, because my dad's like, uh, he's he's from the era, like the 60s, 70s yeah. music, you know, like, and he goes, yeah, that's old. Like, I'm like, dad, you're in your 70s. He's only 80. Yeah. You know, he's, he's 10 young, years older than you. Know? I'm like, dad, don't say that, you know? Yeah. Kick the bucket anytime soon. No. I don't think of my dad as being dead, you know? No. Like, you know, nobody's like, Bob Dylan in my mind. <laughs> why, he's always dead. Him and Keith Richards, you know? They're dead. <laughs> yeah. But they they still the occupy space. Thing, so, like, to kind of bring it back, the sound is. I feel like this should be in front of you. Oh, yes. Yeah, so now I can I'm check. I'm not paying attention. Oh, um, Tony got the shout out. What a, sick. She's so lovely. Tell, she, How did you do it? Honestly, dude, you just come I have in, no you're handsome, freaking you're clue, handsome as crap. Dude. I think the 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 part that is uh, I'm really lucky is she doesn't get annoyed very easily. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you're that lucky, but I'm really really annoying. And <laughs> no, so you're the not. fact that she doesn't get annoyed with me, it's it's, it's complimentary. A yeah, be- it's gone. What a great thing to have a patient <laughs> yeah. partner. Yeah. No. In life. Yeah. What she's a great just thing. got the she's got a great. Um, Demeanor, you know, mm-hmm. she's pretty even keel. Whereas yes. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, man. So I'm glad she got the shout out. She deserves it. She honestly, deserves it. Yep. yeah. She, deserves she just it. did. Um, she just did a photo shoot with uh, Dominic Smith, another no buddy way. of mine. Um, yeah, he's such a good guy. Who's, who's yeah, he's working on Mumbler Project right now. Uh, shout out to him as well. If you get a check out to the the Mumbler Project. Um, yeah, and he's gonna be releasing. He's gonna be releasing some stuff pretty soon, and okay. he just started gigging again. So yes. that's kind of cool. We need him back. Yeah, dude. We I mi- we miss honestly them. like. Um, it's been cool how much like I really am not a local guy, but it's been cool how much like recently I've been able to meet like like you and uh, Garrett from Juniper Ridge, and yes. like I knew Pop obviously yeah. already um and i can't show. wait to meet aaron shea because i want to convince her to do more work with you yes you know, yes i freaking love um return to sender like Get out i've been like, listening to that song the like, way too much no, recently please, yeah please no it's keep, so please. good thank you but um yeah she's a you know, she's a beast she's and phenomenal. thomas muglia another du- dude One in time. town who is making moves i yes. like it fires me up when i see Music, that doesn't even matter. It's musicians, just creatives, mm-hmm. like doing their thing. Yeah. It makes me want to do my thing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I remember reading, uh, I think it's late, I was reading Les Mis. Yeah. And they talk about this group of, of guys that are all think, big yeah, thinkers, yeah, yeah, yeah. philosophy. Yeah, yeah. And how they all sit in, the, in this tavern and just talk about stuff. And, yeah. and I was like, man, I want to be in something like that. Probably I want to be around not people. Exactly not exactly like, like, like that because yeah. they all died. The outcome is not that great. Yeah, yeah. But. but you almost got to no, die no. at some point. No, no, I mean, like, everybody's got to die. You got to you gotta <laughs> die on a hill, too. You know I wouldn't die on a hill. So, I wouldn't die on a mountain. <laughs> no, yeah. I want them to leave my body up on there because yeah. it's too dangerous to get it on. No, it's good. I I think there's a couple YouTubers who have definitely achieved that. Like, <laughs> they just got climbing. <laughs> 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 they used to oh, live so stream it just like this. <laughs> <laughs> 
But so yes, so no, I agree with you. It's some, there's something about um, a, being around a group of people who are not just talking about doing stuff. No. They're not just like saying, wouldn't it be nice? Or like, yeah, I'm going to do this thing. Yeah. They're actually going out and doing mm -hmm. it. Um, they're getting the, yeah, they're yeah. doing their, they're asking their friends to come on the show. Shh. They're getting their little brother to help them set yeah, up stuff. Yeah, whatever, dude. They're and going on the other guy's yeah, podcast. Dude. And selfish plugs are necessary in those ways. Like, I mean, like, honestly, so, like, back to Thomas Muglia. Mm -hmm. I have so much respect for this guy. Yes. Um, as a local musician, but just as, like, a hard worker. I, yeah. I, I don't actually know how old he is, I think, but I think he's only, like, 23, probably. Incredible. And his work ethic is, I was not, I did not have that kind of work ethic. Yeah, I, I just didn't. And he's, like... <laughs> It's really refreshing if you get a chance to know him because he's not talking about it. No. He's doing it. Where's the like, balance? What do you think the balance is between that? Because uh, cause I you, I read stories on, let's say like, uh, I don't know, uh, Guns N' Roses pops to mind. Yeah. Like they were always just like consistent, like my band's the best in the world. You got to go check out my band. Yeah. Which is yeah, yeah. Ob obnoxious. Almost. You know what I mean? If I hear somebody, because I've had people say yeah. that to me. Oh, you yeah. got to go. Like, Ten times in a row, and I'm like, now I I am actively trying not to hear your group. I don't care how good you are. Yeah, see, I actually had a conversation with Thomas about that recently, and I do I understand that. I, th I think there's like a nuance that like a, like that needs to be like clarified there. So like this one thing to be talking about what you're doing but not making stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's the problem. Is how often like. You're like, yeah, I'm an artist or I'm a voice actor, but you're not doing anything. Yeah, you're anything. not actually doing it. Yeah. Like you're just talking about doing stuff. And like, I'm not trying to knock people no. who are, but it's like, you meet a lot of people like that, yeah. right? Like it's, there's a step up, up from like playing open mics, right? And mm -hmm. there's a reason why, because yeah. it takes a lot more hard work, uh, vulnerability and like putting yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Like you need to do the time, you need to talk to, you know, managers of bars and stuff you need to have people tell you hell no i don't want you to play for me like yeah. don't play my bar mitzvah ever again <laughs> like i only got one you yes. done you, only got you one. ruined you messed it up you ruined man. his day you ruined my bar mitzvah <laughs> like, i only turned 16 was it 16 it would have been, you ruined my bar mitzvah <laughs> yeah that's a pre-life <laughs> oh my god <laughs> No, but I mean, so that's like the one side of that, right? But yeah. the other side of it, like, you do need to plug yourself. You have to, Because yeah. I think that the Guns N' Roses is a great example because everybody knows Axl Rose is just a big, giant D-bag. You know what yeah, I mean? the like, biggest. I mean, like, there's literally the guy, I know he wrote a song where he actually, like, used, he slept with his, somebody else in the band's yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah. And then literally recorded sounds of that yes. and use it on a song and the dude finds out via the song at least that's, that's the story yeah yeah d-bag right yeah. like you don't like the guy when you learn that about him no. but what he does right mm -hmm. is he has this extreme confidence almost yes. like arrogance around him and i think anybody who's really good look at an athlete mm -hmm. that's playing you at the highest to, yeah. level you have to have the mentality even if you're not saying it to everybody else mm -hmm. around you you have to have the mentality that i fit I play with the big boys, right? Yeah. Like I can do this at this level. And so part of that is the mental composure, I think, and like attitude you have to have towards yourself. But part of it is how you represent yourself. So mm -hmm. like, I guess like my response to that, oh, I shouldn't be plugging myself all the time is like, is plugging yourself all the time really annoying? Or is it annoying if you do it a certain way? Yeah. Are you that's providing a good point. value to people? Uh -huh. Then why would it be annoying? Like it if I be. like your music yeah. and I'm seeing you plug yourself, I already see you plugging everybody else. Yeah. And I love that about you. Yeah. And that's one of the, I think the most endearing things about you as a person, how much you're a cheerleader for other people, like really authentically that way. Hey, thanks, man. But plugging your own stuff. Is part of being a professional. You're right. You yeah. do have to do yeah. it, right? If Nike's only talking about Adidas or not Adidas, but you know, yeah. it's not just the competition, but yeah. the athlete itself. Instead of look how great these shoes are, yeah. At the same time, yeah, you're not yeah, going to yeah. be doing anything with it. That makes sense. Right. You're totally right. I like what you said. I think it really comes down to the way that you are and are, are, are approaching people like that, and how, as a creative, you should be using some of that creative energy to find a different way 
to promote your own stuff without just being like, I dropped this song. It's now that it's been dropped, I'm yeah. never gonna talk about it again. Yeah. It's a good song, so people should just find it. And you're like, that's not how yeah, it works. Yeah, dude, that's you not gotta, how it you works. You gotta consistently remind, not, not remind people. I, I don't but know. You that's gotta semantics. Let, like, it's just like, so you gotta be excited about your stuff, and you gotta believe that other people would be excited to yeah. listen to it too. Like, if you think people should listen to your music, mm -hmm. that means that you, you think should, your yeah. music is good, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. People are either gonna agree with you. Or they're gonna disagree with mm -hmm. you. So like, I think bottom line is whether it's me as a voice actor or it's um, somebody else, you know, as a musician. Like, first and foremost, you gotta put in the work and you gotta make good stuff. Yeah, right. You gotta make the... high quality stuff. You gotta stand apart. But when you make a song, um, like Peacock hey. or like Return to Sender. You let people know. You yeah. flaunt it, bro. You be the peacock, bro. You be bro. the peacock. You just got to spread my around, sound. dude. That, like, you just got to put it on. Your, you know, you don't have to like put it on your own CD player and then drive around and like tell people it. like you're awesome. It like, reminds me of that scene from Back to the Future with Goldie. May a Goldie. Yeah. What's his last name? May a Gold, I was going to say Goldie Hawn. That's totally. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting if she was in that movie. Yeah, I would have been fun with like, Goldie Hawn. Do you know who is in that movie? Who? Flea. Is in Bleak one is. of them. Yeah, I forgot Ooh, about that. He so plays crazy. like I'm pretty sure, like in like the future one. He does. He's, he's like in, one yeah, of the skateboarder the dudes. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, the guy yeah, driving yeah. the car. <laughs> I hope that stays yeah. on there forever. Dude, Flea's <sighs> been in. Um, Flea's been in a couple different movies. I always love it when I see him. We say uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers is one of your favorite bands. Uh, easily. Easily. Like by. Uh, what like, are some of the th make, things that make <sighs> that happen for you? All right. So first of all. I would say um, the fact that they are musically staying true to themselves all the time, but they're constantly transforming their sound. Yes. And it's always, it comes through because each album is very different, but each album is, it couldn't be anyone else. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it sounds like Versus, them, but somehow different. Yeah. Like how easy would it be uh, almost every band, everybody does it. Like they find what works for them and they use it for a while and they get to this point where they go, I need to change. And then they make a change and then it either hits or it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know, like a band that, an uh, artist that comes to mind for me is Kid Cudi. Yeah. I love his OG stuff. Yes. And then he got really experimental and it just fell, it fell flat for me, you know? Okay. And that's, I think, really freaking hard for a band or a musician to mm -hmm. consistently transform and consistently put out good stuff. And I would argue, Every album they've ever done is unequivocally Red Hot Chili Peppers and good. Uh -huh. Like, just, like, production level good. Like, I don't like every album as much as the other, but... Mm -hmm. So that's one thing, I think. That's a big part of it. The other part is, like, dude, like... It's like, you'd be asking, like, asking me, like, do you like Quentin Tarantino? It's like, yeah, dude, he created his own subgenre of film. Yeah, yeah. The Red Hot Chili Peppers literally... I mean, f without Flea, people don't play bass the way that they play bass. Yeah, you're totally right. He's you know, like without guy. Anthony Kiedis, you don't get rap singers. Yeah. I, I don't think and anybody was doing that kind of stuff yeah. in the 80s. Or at the very least, the, on the level that he Not on the level that they were doing it, yeah. for sure. Um, so I think that is another part about it. Because I always, I think when a band knows who they are, knows what they're capable of, and... Um, is trying to do something new. Mm -hmm. um, that's really freaking hard to do, right? Yeah. And they did it. Somehow. Yeah. Somehow they pulled it together. I mean, like, nobody... Uh, like, like that's a pretty freaking amb ambitious to try to be the next Red Hot Chili Peppers. But I think you do have to try have to... That. Well, they, they also... Uh, just from reading Scar Tissue... It's, such they, a they good book. They also have to think you got to be... You want to be the biggest band <laughs> in the world. Oasis, same thing. What well, I'm all the references, but yeah. you don't think yeah, that yeah, Taylor yeah. Swift wakes up every morning because like I'm gonna kill it today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or Beyonce, yeah. Jay Z, or does it? You know who? who yeah. Kanye West. Jake. He, he thinks she's the best in the world. Yeah. And maybe Listen, rightly they so. They say it in their songs. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you got to once have again an coming back to the confidence. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. This feels like a good part to stop for a second yeah. and move on to the game. Sure. Okay. Sure. 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 We're gonna do that. So. Peter's okay. voice of gold. Yes, please take some. Please take a yeah. drink. We're gonna do a game <laughs> called Alone with Peter, but on yeah. Dean's show. I'm gonna plug your show real quick. The podcast Alone with Peter. I'm 
was a recent guest. Yeah. It's, it's coming out sometime soon. Um, yeah. First season's great. I really liked it a lot. Yeah. You do a lot of really good things, especially with just like production or produ produ productivity, yeah. um, which I really dig about you. You're a great host as well. Thanks, buddy. I Seriously, appreciate man. that. I really yeah. dig it. Yeah. Okay, this game. Here we go. So, right. Peter's voice of gold is going to read and show us some of what he's got from this audiobook standpoint. I gave sure. him a couple ep excerpts or experts, if you yeah. say it wrong. Um, from some books, um, I really did wish I had though, that physical <laughs> copy. Had physical copies of Fifty so Shades of Grey. We're gonna yeah. read some from Fifty Shades yeah, of Grey. Right. Hide your, hide the children for. I'm just kidding. We picked up, we picked a safe for work. Yeah, yeah. It was hard um, though. I gotta tell you, I it was, it was difficult. Maybe not hard is not the right <laughs> word, but uh, here we go. <clears throat> All right, sure. I don't know why I'm throwing my <laughs> well, you're throwing, you're throwing in anticipation <laughs> for this. This is a cold read for me. It's my first show <laughs> of it, okay? Stuff. You beguile me, Christian. Completely overwhelm me. I feel like Icarus flying too close to the sun. Dude, that was good. I feel a little... Woo! Woo! Yeah, I honestly, did you turn up the... I turned that, to that, know, like, that. That's part of what That's happened. just the sex of you. That's, you that's got the it. shade right there. <laughs> All right. This next... <laughs> This next one's from a, from a book. It do, it's done pretty well. It's been trending yeah, for a while. Yeah. It's called The Holy Effing Bible. Yeah, Maybe you've heard no, of it. it's probably the best-selling book by the best-selling mm, author of all probably, time. Of all time, my boy JC. It's one of those. It's one of those books that like has been carved into stone like, <laughs> <laughs> when the majority of people couldn't read and yeah. didn't want to. They didn't want to. <laughs> The Leviticus, uh, we get it, bud. We get it, Levi. Bro, how Leviticus. many times are you going to say it? How are you going to say it? <laughs> Numbers? What is this? Sesame yeah, Street, get out of here. Right, hang on. We don't care about how many cubits, man. How many cubits? Hey, give me more of that guy sleeping with his daughter. <laughs> we got the drama. It's got everything you can want. Ooh, burning right. bushes. <laughs> you want some burning bush? We got man. some burning bushes. Some burning bush. You want, speaking, you want some, you speaking of Fifty Shades of Grey and uh, and, uh, and burning bushes and burning bushes. Okay, so from the Bible, this is a direct from book. Timothy two. Yeah. Okay. The second of yeah. Timothy. So t Timothy the younger. Yeah. I don't think that's how I that think works. it's the second book of Timothy, technically. I mean, yeah, I've yeah. heard it both ways. So first book. My book. shock, so. Yeah. All right. well, <laughs> <laughs> well, Timothy the second, then. Timothy the Timothy second. second. Timothy Jr. Three minutes, 16 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent and equipped for every good work. Oh man, dude! If if you were reading that at church, am I, I supposed paid a to lot read it attention. more? Am I supposed to read no, it more perfect. like like uh, like one of those televangelist guys? Well, let's try one of those that. like that. Let's right. just see what just, happens. Oh, scripture! <laughs> okay, I can just stop. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> you got the gist. Yeah. Dude, that was um, good. Yeah, thanks, yeah. buddy. Good. The first take a second. What? Take. Yes, you got this first yeah. take a second. First take a second. Take. Man, okay. Here's another one called Harry Plopper. Um, it's about Class classic. A classic. Yeah, classic. Let's Dudley's see. birthday. Oh, he's How got could it. he have forgotten? Harry got slowly out of bed and started looking for socks. He found a pair under his bed and... After pulling a spider off one of them, put them on. Harry was used to spiders because the cupboard under the stairs was full of them. And that was where he slept. Oh, man. Amazing writing here. Very yeah, simple. Actually, sim I, when I, you reread J.K. Rowling's stuff, it is yes. really simply written. To but be honest with but you. also. But. Good. Good. Yeah. Isn't that weird? This makes me feel really bad for Harry. You know? Yeah, he lives in the it closet, does. You get it. He hangs out with spiders. You know? I sleep on the ground, but <laughs> not with spiders. <laughs> when did you start sleeping on the ground? I started sleeping on the ground in 2019. So okay. I had a bed that was like just awful in South Korea. Okay. And the floors are heated. Okay. So in South just, Korea. 
Yeah, like they don't do like wall heaters and stuff like us. They have something called here. Andola. And it's, so they got like pipes. And it's freaking awesome, dude. dude it's Asia. It's heck? got like different style. I'm, I don't know how like um, efficient the heating systems are technically. Okay. But it's like there's piping systems underneath the floor. Uh-huh. And they heat the floor. And it's kind of like your floor. It's like okay. hardwood yes. kind of stuff, you know. It's not. It's never carpeted or whatever. If That's you why you take your shoes off inside. Oh, yeah. that makes We're sense. We're like heathens out here. Ah, uh, yes. Um, but yeah, so I just started sleeping on the floor there, and my back really thanked me for it. And so and now... And I came back, and I just kept sleeping on the ground, because, uh-huh. like, who needs a mattress? No. Yeah. Does Tony feel the same way? I think we we'll probably, probably need to get a mattress. Oh no! But you can just get like maybe one of the probably firm. Probably just get soft. like maybe like one of those mattresses where like one side is like elevated and the other side is. Ooh, the I ground. like that. Yeah, you know that's it. It's maybe like you just give just, her a single. You're just holding yeah. her hand like this. Yeah, it's just like I love you how so much, we, baby. we like. Here's this your is, This is us cuddling. <laughs> this so soon right now. Yeah. That's funny. How tall is Tony? Uh, f- five foot five, I think. Oh, I don't. I didn't even put you really on the spot. Don't even know. If you ask me what Echo was, I don't. I'm not sure. How tall is Echo? I don't. Oh, I just, the Echo. lower five. Got five four maybe. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Do you, how tall are you? I don't even know. I, I always tell people I'm six foot, and they go, "No, you're not. You're not. No, you're, you're not." not. I'm like, all right, bro. Sorry, I don't know how tall I am. I'm pretty sure I'm six foot. Okay. Some people take that answer. Some people tell me to go shove it. I'm on the back side. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't like answering this much. I'm 5'11", but I'm like the on back side of six. Like so, oh, so close. Like, would you go like, it's so like did you ever play basketball? Six. Yes, I did. Come so now. I was like five foot ten in high school, uh-huh. but they listed me as six foot because Makes sense. obviously... The number is intimidating. Yeah. Like I played better. Yeah. Because of that. So. It's in it's in here. Yeah, no, and like here. you strike fear not into here. the opposition when you're six foot. That makes sense. Not when you're five foot ten. You wanna hear a weird fact. Yeah. Echo and I have the same size leg same length leg, not size leg. That is like so numbers, interesting. I have a long torso. I have a long torso too. Ah, yes! What are you talking about yes! Twitter bros. Yes, okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, let's read this last one. I want, I don't I, wanna move I, past this. We, 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 oh, I gave you the one on which, the back. Yes, which, this one. Which this one, one is it? the back. So let's read Oh, let's read that. Yeah, let's read the. Which one this, are we going let's for? just go with the this right. this thing first, this so we can end on this last um, one. The book of uh, Quaker. Uh, Quaker. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, Tell me if you're not salivating after this. You're yeah, you're lying. Yeah. When it comes to goodness, it's hard to beat a bowl of Quaker oats. These oats are pretty special. They're 100% heart healthy whole grains and a good source of fiber. Oh. Quaker is committed. To investing in world-class farmers and millers to help ensure we provide the best oats possible. And not just any oats make the cut. It's true. Quaker only mills oats that meet strict quality standards to help you get the best start to your day. Oh, man. That's a whole lot of goodness in one bowl. All right. I went off Dude, that was on good. That one. No, that was nice, but yeah. it felt good and authentic. Yeah, yes. no, I appreciate that. What do you think they do when they see an oat they don't? Is it just <sighs> like... Like, hey, get back out, get out of here, boy. <laughs> we don't take time <laughs> to your kind. He got like oddly, like uncomfortable. Yeah, I like pre '60s stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just think, not hey. Hey. good. Hey, we don't take hey. the hey. 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 <laughs> I don't even know where we're going with this. I don't know. I don't. Um, even, I, I don't even like, like even jumping towards like, that. Like, what are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> you should have been of that. You should have been <laughs> But Quakers are against alcohol, right? Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, I just yeah. want to make sure. I know they wear Wait, the wigs. They, uh, they wear the wigs. Right? Do they have wigs? I think they do have they like think beards. They do the powdered wigs? No, they do the beards. The powder wigs <laughs> revolutionary. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Do they have powdered I'm wigs? Sure. Like, look at this guy. They pretty much. Uh, you, he's going to zoom in on this on the YouTube, I hope. But, like, this is. He's got the hat. He's got right. It. This is the this is the audio part of this. Yeah. You got to describe what he looks. Okay. Uh, he's got the he's got the constitutional hat. Yeah, yeah. He's got the the powdered wig. Okay. He's definitely white. Yes. And he's got the like cur um the cur uh, handkerchief 
Yes. What is it? like the what fluffy is, pirate yeah, shirt you, thing? <laughs> what, they, what do they call it? There's like I don't a, know what they call it. That's actually a really good question. A, f- um, a, f- a fluffy so shirt. A, f- a, f- a, a fluffy. A fluffy a, shirt. A fluff. Yes. Oh, yes, the fluff. A fluff. Yes, yes. I think that's what they should call yes. it. A shifloof. A shifloof. <laughs> Shifloof. <laughs> but like on like a like on a real note though. Brought to you by um, Lane Bryant. The f- <laughs> Shifloof. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> For only nine ninety five, <laughs> you can get your second Shifloof. This one comes in different colors. You, you ever watch white? the Music Man? Shifloofy. Shifloofy. <laughs> <laughs> this shirt has gone up there. All right. Uh, <laughs> What's going on? I don't even know anymore. Shuffle Loopy. Shuffle Loopy. <laughs> this shirt is such a hit. I can rhyme <laughs> AA all day. He's got it. Yeah, yeah. AA. Just give it. Sh- shirt. Um, <laughs> all, right. all day. But it's past. It's, it's, it, yeah. it's nighttime, dude. It's been an you can't tell what it's past. It's past right. the time. This sun's, this sun's the sun's The last one. So am I. The last yeah. one. Sorry. This one. Yeah. This one's from my favorite book ever. It's from my favorite book ever. The Son of the Nell. The Son of the Nell. Son of the Nell. Son I've actually Nell. never heard of this book. Yeah. Uh, it's got some pretty good uh, circulation in, you, in Nepal, actually. It's a Neapolitan book. It is, yes. Really? Yes. Did you, you read it in English. I read right? it in English. The yeah. translation. It is a translation, it's a, of, it's a, a translation. of a Neapolitan text. Of a Neapolitan, that Sounds Nelopolitan like a lot of flavors. Text. Yes. Wait, it, it's not Neapolitan? Nelopolitan. Ne- Nelopolitan. Son of the Nell, yes. EOD Nell. You would say if you're from Nepal, that you're Nelopolitan? Yes. What? Yes. Dude, I love how much I learn. You, on there's this a show. lot of people. I do a Music lot of theory, extensive philosophy. I, I just research. feel like there's stuff that happens here. There's, this there's is a lot why of why there was a happens. waiting list at the door. For there's this a wa- show. yeah. There's people outside right now. <clears throat> Lance looked at me in that sort of funny way. I love the way the light shines in his eyes. I love the way his lips curl when he smiles. Isn't it such a sad thought that simply because he's my brother, I can. I can marry the fool. Oh, look, there's so many typos. I can't. Can't marry. You actually saved that one, too, because it's simply a sad thought. Uh, you, you saved it because it was supposed to be thought. Yeah. Well. That was actually a journal entry, it looks like. It must have got mixed <laughs> in from mine. Oh, oh no. September 21st. Oh, no. I thought I knew Lance. Lance? I thought oh, I had heard of that guy. Oh, no. Talking about we're back onto the incest Wait, I thing. can got to do this differently then. I, gotta, <laughs> I missed an opportunity here. No, September no. September 21st. Dude, I'm, I should have double That was I recently. That. I can't that was marry recently. Before. Did you just echo know about this? No. Honestly, good thing she, she doesn't watch know. this show. It's good that she doesn't watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge the bullet there. That was close. Echo, That's close. if you're listening... He does not love his brother at all. At all. No, not it even like... meant nothing, baby. No, like... The spooting? The fondling? No. The, the fondue? Doesn't happen. The fondue it's meant not, mean something. You that's can't, like you have a fun. good haircut. Do you think you could get... A, <laughs> <laughs> the fondue? <laughs> the fondue. Hey. Um, I love how much that guy is in like random stuff now. He's... Too, what a likable Dude, guy. Honestly, have you ever heard anything bad about... No, Winkler? I've never. I think he just hits stuff, not people. Hits, you know what I'm saying? That's the important thing. Which is if you're the in stuff thing. and not a person, <laughs> you're think, doing it right. You got I 90% of it that's done. That's probably like there might be an argument that you shouldn't be hitting no. anything. Yeah. But in today's world, I can understand wanting to hit it's, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's guesses. Well, thanks for playing that game. Yeah, no, Enough it was that fun. Bull it was crap. Fun. Thank you for yeah, the real stuff. The voice of gold. Stop, the voice dude, of gold. Stop. Like the angels came. Oh, so you know you mentioned Les Miserables earlier? Yes. Can I share something Please with you? Please share it, yes. All right. Um, uh, something I learned uh, is that when you do an, a character... <laughs> hang on. Um, when you do a character, you have to say who you are. So, like, okay. for example, if I was going to... Oh, John Wayne, Bill Grum. <laughs> That's my John Wayne, so... Um, to give you an example, <laughs> so this is real stuff. <laughs> okay. So 
This is uh, Kermit the Frog <laughs> doing uh, Les Miserables. Empty chairs at empty tables <laughs> where my friends have come and gone. My friends, my friends, don't ask me what your sacrifice was for. <laughs> empty chairs at empty tables where my friends will be no more. <laughs> Yes! It's like I had to bring it in, you know? Yes! It's oh my why gosh! I wear green shirts. How did you it's why I don't I wear know. green shirts? That's where you, actually, I just read the be. Jim Henson books. I've had like Kermit on the mind. On I the was back. actually driving over here thinking, like, I could sing my like, Miss Raw as yeah. Kermit the Frog. You did it and you nailed it. Oh, I've loved you. it. That might be my favorite part of the thing. We're just going to use that as a promo yeah. clip. <laughs> You can be like, what the heck is this be, show? I would not be mad. What is this even about? What this is, is music it? theory philosophy. It's about it nothing. Like it's blasphemy. It's blasphemy it theory like. blasphemy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Dude, I love that. That was good. You pulled Thank that you. out of the butt. I That's insane. That, it's insane. Yeah. All right. Here we're going. This is the hot seat part. You ready for this? Don't think, just answer. <sighs> I'm good at that. Well, let's see. Is the tie of blood more important than choosing family? It's kind of a Vin Diesel question. Tie blood. So blood, I take the tie over blood. blood or family. You take a tie over blood. Yes, love that. Okay. Um, what do you think happens when you die? It's like when Oprah like, is on a show. She goes, you get a car. You, you get, get a car. car. And you, you get, get a car. car. That's what it's like? Forever. <laughs> I, mean, I love that. You asked me for like the like the don't think. This is the, okay, 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 gotcha. What's the most afraid you've ever been in your life? Um, I can think of several different ones. Can I give you rapid fire? Rapid examples? fire, go. Okay, I tried to jump over Don't something explain, and yes. I landed on my nuts and I thought I caught him. That was crazy. Uh, did no! Pop. How old were you? <laughs> did not pop recently, dude. Oh. Like, yeah, Tony, I was like, I was Tony, like, I hope you can love half of that. I was like, you ruined my permits. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my permits. <laughs> And then, oh, that's uh, funny. <laughs> recently, I was playing basketball at uh, Vasa Fitness, and some dude shoved his freaking finger in my eye. This is the second time in my life I've had somebody hit me in the eye, like where like it did in my eyelid and in my nose, and it's in, just the, in eye. the eye. And so I was like, oh, you know, and I was sitting there for a while, being like, do I still have, have an, an eye? eye? Like he just dirty fingernail dude not it's the most it i don't know your... if it's ever happened to you dude but it's just like terrifying because like your eye hurts it badly enough that like you don't know if it works i don't know if you know this about me my biggest fear is getting my eyes poked out dude no that i is, did not that know is, that when it's i was in terrifying when I was in school dude. my freshman year of college i went to yeah. this party and this guy took his keys to this other guy and went like that punched he pulled his eye out and it was hanging by his optic no ever since oh! i could walk around the corner of a table Ooh. for a while i would see it out of the corner of my eye and my eye would just start twitching dude that's the most that terrifying so that's so i would I, that i don't blame me. you i oh, do not biggest blame fear. you uh that's a lot some people talk about a family member dying no for me just get my uh, eyes poked dude, out can your eye so like you're <laughs> sitting there and you're thinking like i'm gonna have to open this eventually and is it, it gonna, might not work. So what that obviously is happened, you're okay though. Yeah, no, I How long did it take? This works. I, so it was funny because um, I was sitting there in a lot of pain, but I was like, when I get, when that kind of thing happens to me, I don't know how you, how you My are. My eyes start twitching just yeah. thinking about what I was just talking about. <laughs> but like, I get really calm and like, I just like, I guess it's like self-preservation no mode, way. you know? That's I get awesome. kind of like, like, I need to like know what to do. So... Which is not like me all the time. I'm normally like, this is my God, not work on. And, um, but like, with that, I'm like, just calm, you know, I'm like, yeah. freaking monk. Okay. Um, other than like, just like, bitch, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, you can edit that part out. I got uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Karen. <laughs> Love you, mom. Uh, but, but, uh, the guys are standing over me and they're like, hey, dude. Your eye's bleeding. Oh. And I'm like, bro, shut, shut the freaking God. heck up, man. Son of a biscuit. Like, Dude, get out of here. They're like, let me get you an ice pack. 
For your hey, bleeding eyes? So many, so many want to get him an ice pack. You did it. You and said I'm, I'm gonna get him an ice pack. Get him. I was like, dude. First of all, the most useless leave person me alone. of all time. And then uh, just to wrap round the story out, like I had to like sign an incident report and stuff. And the guy who did it didn't mean to do it, but he came up to me. He's like, he's like, hey, dude, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, my eyes fine. Thankfully, um, I was like starting to get a black eye, and he's like, yeah, dude, like it was scary. I like. I got right in there. And I was like, dude. You did it again? Dude, why are you showing me what yeah. you did? You just stuck it in my eye. Yeah, I, I put it I'm on the me. only one that saw it. Yeah, Pat, the best <laughs> seat in the house. I do not need you to show oh. me. You got so close. Oh, to you to it show sucks me. so like, bad. <laughs> oh, oh, God, man. Terrible. So that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> that would be scary. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Trauma. Yeah. What's uh, yeah. a piece of advice you'd give anyone who would listen? It's one pe- pearl of wisdom you'd Just give them. one. Uh, see, I pretty much don't care if you listen. I'll just throw it at you. I love you it. Know? But, give it to them. Um, what I would say is... Um, don't think about it. Just start taking action now. I love it. Yeah. That's good advice. Yeah. Because I feel like... So this is like... Not totally original, but I totally believe it. Uh-huh. Um, I think everybody's got something that they're called to do. It's mm-hmm. not necessarily uh, creative, uh, like artistic, but they've all got some bigger purpose. And I think that everybody who has whatever the purpose is... They have extreme resistance towards doing that thing because nothing worth doing is easy. And the thing that you're called to do is going to be the hardest thing to do. Mm -hmm. So if you're experiencing resistance towards making music, music is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And you're never going to have the perfect time. You're not going to have the perfect amount of money set aside. You're not going to have the perfect epiphany of an idea. You got to put the work in. So, I mean, it's literally the hardest thing to do, but just doing the work. Um, Not being prepared. You know, you can't be prepared. You just got to go. You just got to do it. So that's what I would say. Just push gas. Just go. Not to steal Nike, but you just got (laughs) to do it, bro. All right. uh, Let's see. That was actually a good thing, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to go back to the silly. Do you want to go back to the silly, silly goose time? Or I mean, dude, I'm down for whatever. I'm on music theory. Let's philosophy. do it, man. Okay, you ready yeah. for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how many times have you accidentally walked on someone using the bathroom? You know, the only one that I can think of because it's like etched into my eyeballs was when I walked into my grandma, mm. and I just, you know, I felt so guilty. <laughs> So, that's the only one I could think of. Ugh. I've probably done it several times. <laughs> if you had to guess, to my how, grandma, you know. <laughs> if you had to guess, how, ooh, that's worth ten. <laughs> if you had to guess how much money J.K. Rowling has, what would you guess? In like box tops or like real money? Yeah, we'd say just like, like scholastic. Um, it's a lot. I would say net worth like a billion. You're real close. It's just like just under a billion. Crazy. That's huh? crazy. Yeah, for somebody living yeah. in the Who's yeah. a better actor, Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, <laughs> Sly. 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 Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know. <laughs> I really like. Get out of town. It's me. You got about Thanks, bud. Shoot. We got a couple questions um, in. Favorite no, court. Both great. Oh, they're both good. Yeah. They're both yeah. good. I just watched Cliffhanger Phenomenal the other day. So fun. Actors, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> and I'll watch Over the Top, so the good, arm wrestling bad one. Bad movies. <laughs> I think one of my favorite things is like, <clears throat> Arnold will literally be anybody. And then like, there's got to be the one dude who's like, hard to beat because it's a yeah. movie, you know? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes the guy is like, a lot smaller than him. Yeah. So it's like, why all of a sudden is it, is it be hard for him to beat this guy? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. He's a kung fu yeah. master, but you're on Swiss. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Just break him in half. Um, what was the last one? Like a Kit Kat. What's your least favorite song? 
Dude, there's probably a lot. But, hmm. That's such a freaking hard question. Hmm. I don't like to be negative, you know? Um, You're a positive person. Maybe it's... You can tell me you love um, Baby Shark? No. I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's got to be something like... Uh, do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating in the wind? <laughs> have you ever felt that way before? I haven't felt that way. No. Well, I so haven't I'm either. So I freaking Katie hate Perry. that song. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Katy good. Perry. Whatever. I don't even know what the song is called, but just that lyric. Firework, like, right? Firework. Is it firework? And Baby I swear there was another fire. song. Anything that plays at the gym. So yeah. Let's talk about this voice yeah. real quick. That's a joke voice, but you have a great singing voice. Stop. Are you playing around here? Are you trying to find some guys to play with? Yeah, actually, no, I'm not. Oh. But I would love to. I um, I feel like I know so many musicians. Yes. But nobody who needs a singer. So I would love to jump in and shred shred the vocal cords yes for somebody else well i've played with you a few times and you got a great voice yeah dude anything emo you need me to do yes (laughs) i was thinking about that the other day when you did the the emo night yes i was like i'm 30 years old and i know all these songs i love these songs i know all the words yeah no i mean i i love i love it uh i honestly have pretty pretty broad genre um genre interests too so i just like to sing you well you got a great voice which is where did you learn to sing uh, I did choir and stuff. Mm-hmm. I did choir and stuff. I always preferred contemporary music, though. Uh-huh. And so I always sing. I think when I was younger, I I think I probably tried to just sing exactly mm-hmm. the way. I still try a little, maybe too hard. To emulate try. some emulate of these guys the you're singer hearing. Rather than I think the, it's a good way to do it. You kind of find your own voice that way. Yeah. Because you do have to abandon yeah. it at some point. Yeah, yeah. But uh, recently... Um, I, I just just for fun started taking a little bit more uh, music uh, like singing lessons again uh-huh. and that was the first time in a long time um, Dominic Smith's wife Marianne Smith is a phenomenal she is. Um, singer she's like got the voice of an angel she Thomas does. Muglia's uh, sister crazy and what a family. she kind of helped me try to find the mix because I feel like I've got the falsetto uh-huh and I've definitely got um, the chest voice down, but the mix is gonna be hard, man. It's hard. Like the mix is, especially when a song starts in the mix, bro. I'm like, I don't know how to tackle that sometimes. But yeah, dude, I love singing. I love singing. I love anything that's got like anything that's got like a cool like message or an interesting like thing going on, or if it's got attitude. I, I love. love I love. That's why I like listening to you. You guys play like yeah, you pop or those guys. I just love when it. I love that about rock. You know? Yeah, there's, you get to yeah. Be, express yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes back to me being an angsty teen. You know? Yes, there's something yeah. and it doesn't die. So like, I was laughing about that the other day because it's like the lyrics and some of the songs are not good, <laughs> yeah. but like just there's something about being able to be like, yeah, you tear no yourself off. You know? Come by, yeah. rest of black my eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a fun. All right. Yeah. Dude, thanks so much for being on the show. You are just an amazing guy. I've loved you since day one. Oh, dude, Seeing you too, your buddy. handsome face, you bring Shit, such a great energy, here. and I love how such a hard work you are. I don't know very many people that work harder than you, I and I know a that, lot buddy. of hard workers. Yeah. I just think the world of you. You also got a great mind, and you're very open-minded and genuinely open-minded, not just the way that some people think they're open-minded. I appreciate that about you, man. You're very invited, so. Yeah. Dude, is there anything you want to plug? Let's talk about stuff. Where can people yeah. find you? Uh, well, you can find me on Instagram here, uh, Real Peter K. Um, you can also find me on my website, peterkirsting.com. Um, there's going to be a lot more stuff coming out in the near future. I'm going to plug in the Alone with Peter Instagram page as well. Um, right now, there's some crickets going on there because I'm trying <laughs> to s- organize everything, you know, corral all the bugs into one spot. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to share your podcast. We talked yes, a lot I about we talked a lot about local local musicians. What mm-hmm. it means. I just alone with Peter to me is it's just fun because I get to talk to other people who are trying to do it. You know what I mean? Like we talked about earlier, 
And I think there's something really inspiring about that. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're entrepreneurial, if you're trying to travel, um, if you're trying to do something artistic, um, I think you might find something worthwhile on the show. If you're just trying to be like a better version of yourself, um, there's some really solid guests on the show this season. Yes! You're such a, a world traveler, and this guy just understands a lot. So we didn't even really get to scratch all this stuff. We had a silly goose time. Though. I Dude, had such a good time. I and, uh, freaking loved how silly thanks goose for it being was, man. I on love the, the show. Call, I love the fact that you call it a silly goose oh, time. Oh, it's silly bro. goose time, man. Yeah, uh, so stuff. be sure to check him out, uh, not just with your eyes, and because uh, he's got a lot of great wisdom and, and everything that – that you guys really should pull from. I'm pulling from. I've been. I'm Music Dave Philosophy! Along okay. with Peter! Along with Peter! Woo! Thanks for being on the show. Love you. Now we can do this awkward thing where we walk up to the front. Oh, oh kicking stuff. It's all, it's all down up from here.